my precious child. I see the turmoil in your heart. I feel the ache of injustice that weighs upon your spirit. Those who have wronged you, who have risen against you in malice and deceit, they know not what they do. But I say to you now, with all the authority of heaven, they have messed with the wrong one. You are mine, beloved. Before the foundations of the earth were laid, I knew you. I knit you together in your mother's womb with exquisite care, weaving my very essence into the fabric of your being. Every hair on your head is counted. Every tear you shed is held sacred in my hand. You are fearfully and wonderfully made a masterpiece beyond compare. Those who come against you do not understand the power that resides within you. They see only the outer shell, the frail human form. But I see the warrior's heart that beats in your chest. I see the fire of my spirit that burns in your eyes. I see the strength of generations, the legacy of faith, the unbreakable cord that binds us as father and child. If you need God's blessings, then type yes I need in the comments. Do not be dismayed by their attacks, for they are but chaff in the wind. Their words are empty, their schemes are futile. They plot in vain, not realizing that in targeting you, they have made themselves my enemies. And who can stand against the Lord of hosts? Who can thwart the plans of the Almighty? Remember, my child, that you do not fight alone. Legions of angels stand ready at my command, poised to defend you at a moment's notice. The hosts of heaven watch in eager anticipation, knowing that your vindication draws near. For I am a God of justice, and I will not allow the wicked to triumph over the righteous. In their arrogance, your adversaries believe they hold power. They puff themselves up with pride, boasting of their influence and their ability to crush you. But I say to you, let them boast. Let them revel in their imagined victory. For the higher they rise in their own estimation, the farther they will fall when I stretch out my hand against them. You, my chosen one, have been tested in the fires of affliction. You have walked through the valley of the shadow of death. You have known sorrow, rejection, and pain. But these trials have not broken you, they have refined you. Like gold purified in the crucible, you have emerged stronger, purer, more radiant than before. Your enemies see your scars and think you weak. They mistake your gentleness for frailty, your compassion for cowardice. They do not realize that it is in your brokenness that my strength is perfected. It is in your humility that my power is magnified. It is through your wounds that my healing flows to a broken world. I have placed my seal upon you, marking you as my own. You bear my name, carry my authority. When you speak, it is my voice that echoes through eternity. When you move, it is my will being done on earth as it is in heaven. You are an ambassador of the Most High, a royal priest, a co-heir with Christ. Those who have come against you have not merely offended a mortal being, they have challenged the very throne of heaven. In touching you, they have touched the apple of my eye. In persecuting you, they have persecuted me, and I will not be mocked. Remember the promise I made to Abraham, your forefather in faith. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse. This covenant extends to you, my beloved child. The blessing and protection that rests upon you is not of this world. It is an eternal decree, written in the annals of heaven, sealed with my own blood. My beloved child, if this message has stirred your soul and brought comfort to your heart, let your love shine by hitting the like button. Do not seek vengeance with your own hands, for vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. Instead, I call you to a higher path, the path of forgiveness, of radical love. Pray for those who persecute you. Bless those who curse you. In doing so, you will heap burning coals upon their heads, and you will be proven to be my true children. But make no mistake, your forgiveness does not negate their accountability. I am a God of mercy, but also of justice. I am slow to anger, but my wrath, when kindled, is terrible to behold. 
those who have chosen to make themselves your enemies have set themselves against the very power that spoke the universe into existence. They fail to understand that in attacking you, they are kicking against the goads. They are fighting a battle they cannot win, for I have already declared the victory. Before time began, I saw this day. I knew every assault that would come against you, every lie that would be spoken, every trap that would be set. And in my infinite wisdom, I have already prepared your deliverance. Do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled by their schemes. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is your heritage as my servant, and your vindication comes from me. In the courts of heaven, your case has already been tried. The verdict has been given, the gavel has fallen. You have been declared righteous, not because of your own merits, but because of the blood of the Lamb. Your accusers have been cast down, their charges dismissed. The record of wrongs held against you has been nailed to the cross, cancelled, and defeated. So stand firm, my child. Stand in the authority I have given you. Do not cower, do not retreat. Advance with the confidence of one who knows their cause is just and their victory is sure. For if I am for you, who can be against you? Remember David, the shepherd boy who faced the giant. The odds seemed insurmountable, the enemy undefeatable. But David knew a truth that your enemies have forgotten the battle belongs to the Lord. With a single stone, he toppled the mighty Goliath. So too will I topple those who have set themselves against you. They may have wealth, but you have true riches in heaven. They may have worldly influence, but you have the ear of the King of Kings. They may have armies at their command, but you have the Lord of hosts as your defender. They fight with weapons of flesh, but you wield the sword of the Spirit. In their foolishness, they have chosen to wrestle with the Almighty. They have set themselves against my anointed one. Oh, if they only knew the fate that awaits those who touch my beloved, if they could only see the armies of heaven poised to defend you, they would tremble in fear and beg for mercy. But in their blindness, they persist. In their hardness of heart, they continue to plot and scheme. Little do they know that with every attack, they are only setting the stage for a more glorious victory. With every lie they tell, they are creating opportunity for my truth to shine brighter. My child, I know the pain you've endured. I bottled every tear, recorded every sleepless night. I've heard every desperate prayer, felt every moment of doubt and fear. And I say to you now, your suffering has not been in vain. Your faithfulness in the face of adversity has not gone unnoticed. In fact, all of heaven watches with bated breath. The great cloud of witnesses cheers you on, knowing that your vindication is at hand. They see what you cannot yet see, the glorious ending that I have authored for your story. Your enemies believe they are writing the narrative. They think they control the plot, that they could determine your fate. But I am the author of history, the sovereign lord over all creation, and I have already written the final chapter. In my story, the humble are exalted, the weak confound the strong, the foolish things of this world shame the wise, and my chosen ones those the world has mocked, rejected, and persecuted they shall shine like stars for all eternity. So take heart, my beloved, though the night seems long, joy comes in the morning, though the battle rages fierce, the war is already won. Though your enemies surround you, I have hedged you in behind and before. They messed with the wrong one indeed, not because of your own strength but because of who you are in me. They didn't realize that in touching you, they were touching my anointed, and coming against you, they were coming against me. Oh, the depths of the riches of my wisdom and knowledge, how unsearchable my judgments and my paths beyond tracing out. For who has known my mind, or who has been my counselor, who has ever given to me, that I should repay them? 
your adversaries, in their arrogance, thought they could overturn my will. They presumed to thwart my plans for you. But as it is written, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I have called you for such a time as this. Before you took your first breath, I set you apart. I placed my hand upon you, anointed you with my spirit, and appointed you as my ambassador. The attacks you face are not random or coincidental, they are a sign that you are walking in your divine purpose. The enemy would not waste his time on one who posed no threat to his kingdom. The forces of darkness would not array themselves against you if you were not carrying my light. Take courage in this, my child. The opposition you face is confirmation of your calling. My beloved child, your heart of giving helps spread my truth and light to every corner of the world. Together, we are shining hope into the lives of many. When you press the super thanks button, you open the door to abundant blessings flowing into your life. Remember Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, imprisoned unjustly, forgotten and forsaken. Yet through it all, I was with him. What man meant for evil, I used for good. The very ones who sought to destroy him ended up bowing at his feet. So shall it be with you. Your enemies, in their short-sightedness, see only the present moment. They think they have prevailed because they cannot see the bigger picture. But I am the God who declares the end from the beginning. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And I say to you now, your best days are not behind you, but ahead. In my perfect timing, I will bring all things to light. Every secret whispered in darkness will be shouted from the rooftops. Every lie will be exposed, every deception unraveled. Those who have exalted themselves will be humbled, and you, my faithful one, will be lifted up. Do not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. The seeds of righteousness you have sown, in tears, you will reap in joy. The prayers you have prayed in secret, I will answer openly. The faithfulness you have shown in obscurity, I will reward before many witnesses. Your enemies thought they could silence you, but I will give you a voice that resounds to the ends of the earth. They sought to bury you, not knowing you were a seed I had planted. And now, my chosen one, it is time for you to bloom. It is time for you to rise up and take your place. For too long, you have felt small, insignificant, overlooked. But I say to you, you are a city set on a hill. You are the light of the world. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. For I have given my angels charge over you, to guard you in all your ways. Your adversaries do not understand the power of my love for you. They cannot fathom the lengths I will go to defend my own. They do not realize that in attacking you, they have provoked the jealous love of a father for his child. Oh, if they only knew the consequences of their actions, if they could only see the heavenly hosts arrayed against them. But in my mercy, I give them time to repent. In my long suffering, I extend to them the opportunity to turn from their wicked ways. But for those who persist in their rebellion, who continue to come against my anointed one, I say this, prepare to encounter the living God, for it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Almighty. My child, do not be afraid of their threats. Do not be intimidated by their show of force, for the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. You possess an arsenal that your enemies cannot see or understand. When you praise, prison doors shake, when you worship, walls come tumbling down. When you speak my word, mountains move. When you pray, heaven invades earth. You have at your disposal the very power that raised Christ from the dead. So arise, my chosen one. Shake off the dust of disappointment. Cast aside the ashes of mourning. Put on your garments of praise. For I am about to do a new thing, can you not perceive it? 
I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Those who have mocked you will be silenced. Those who have opposed you will be put to shame. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Do not fear, I will help you. You are my battle axe and weapons of war. With you I shatter nations. With you I destroy kingdoms. Do not be dismayed by the size of your enemies. For size doesn't matter when I am on your side. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Remember, my child, that your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The humans who have come against you are merely pawns in a greater cosmic battle. So clothe yourself with the full armor of God. Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, the breastplate of righteousness in place, and your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. My beloved child, come closer and join this family of faith. Subscribe and receive the words I have prepared to lift your spirit and fill your heart with hope. For though you walk in the flesh, you do not war according to the flesh. The weapons of your warfare are divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. You are destroying speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. My chosen one, you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate you from my love. So stand tall, walk in confidence, for this light, momentary affliction is preparing for you an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. What you suffer now is nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed in you. Your enemies thought they could break you, but they have only succeeded in breaking the alabaster jar of your life, releasing the fragrance of Christ to the world. They thought they could destroy you, but they have only positioned you for your greatest miracle. For I am about to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you were told, as have not seen. Ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man all that I have prepared for those who love me. So take courage, my child. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The divine reversal is at hand. What the enemy meant for evil, I will turn for good. Where they dug a pit for you, they will fall in themselves. The very ground on which they stand will become quicks and beneath their feet. For you are my chosen instrument, my royal priesthood, my holy nation, my peculiar treasure. Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, before you were born I set you apart. You may have been forsaken for a moment, but with deep compassion, I will bring you back. In a surge of anger I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have compassion on you. So arise, shine. For your light has come, and my glory rises upon you. Darkness may cover the earth and thick darkness be over the peoples, but I will rise upon you, and my glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. For I am doing a new thing in you, and through you. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams and wasteland. The desert and the parched land will be glad, the wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Remember this, my beloved. They indeed have messed with the wrong one, not because of who you are, but because of whose you are. For you are mine, and I am yours, and our bond is unbreakable. So stand firm in this truth. Rest in my love, for the battle is not yours, but mine, and I have already declared the victory. My child, spread the light of my love, 
Share this message with someone who needs a touch of hope and encouragement. Amen.